called Tomahawk and Punch. Tomahawk and Punch teaches defenders how to increase the number of cost fumbles without risking a missed tackle. We want to simulate a tackle from behind and we ensure the tackle first by grabbing the shoulder pad at the back of the neck. Eyes should come down to ball carrier's elbow and to the ball. If we see the elbow in and we can't see the ball, we will work a tomahawk chop. We will find the point of the ball and we will rip it out. If the ball is exposed with the elbow out, we will then try for a punch and punch it out. And we always want to finish with a scoop and score. We can drill this in pairs with multiple players across the line. In this example, our players are going for the tomahawk. All three ball carriers have the ball high and tight. We will secure the tackle with our off hand at the neck, as the player in the middle is doing, and go for a violent strip of tomahawk to get the ball out. We want to finish with a scoop and score through the line. In this example, the ball carriers are holding the ball out to their side. The ball is exposed. The defender's eyes go down to the ball, and now there is an opportunity for a punch. Number six in the middle of your screen secures the tackle at the shoulder and punches the ball out. And again, immediately when we punch the ball out, we want to locate it and scoop and score. Watch our middle linebacker in a game here against Toledo. where he gets the ball carrier in position, has secured the tackle, and goes for a violent strip. Drilling this every day ensures that when we get in game day, this drill can come out on the field when it counts the most. Again, any ball on the ground at Temple, we should have 11 players to the pile fighting to get the ball, and we always want to point that we recovered the ball. In this example, our linebacker coming back into the play secures the tackle again. In this case, he doesn't secure the tackle from behind, but he does have the player in position where he can't get out of this tackle. Again, the violent strip attempt is something that we coach on a daily basis. Strip attempts equal turnovers. The ball is out, and again, there always should be more Temple players to the ball. We recover, and everyone point in that direction. 